Hey everybody, we're back with another tutorial here at Instaproofs. Have you ever wanted to just add a little personality, a little color, a little spice to your storefront? Well, today we're going to show you how to do that, show you some options that you have that uh, you can kick up some some fun on your on your storefront. Let me show you a few that uh, that we have that other people have done. Uh, we've got a couple here. Uh, this one, they've got a great big logo here. They've moved the uh, links in a little bit. Got some nice color there. Uh, here's one that kind of shows a background that uh, has a color change, some other color changes. Another great big logo. Uh, we've got the O'Malley Photographers one here. This is a pretty popular one. Pretty simple, pretty clean. And then our good friend Jonathan Candless here has one that uh, people like. Also kind of clean. Really easy to see. And then one more. It's got a little bit of color and nice clean look to it as well. So let me show you how to get in and do some of that. So here from your dashboard, you can go to the Setup tab. Drop down and click on Customize. And then on the Customize page, scroll all the way down to the Style Sheet Files area here. And in this section, if you know CSS coding, you can go through and you can create your own uh, custom files, upload those here, and, uh, and and you can do that manually. If you're like me and you want to uh, have a little bit of a, uh, a area that uh, can help you through that, we've got this little box right here. Come down and click on red. Uh, on the in red says common color changes. That'll pull up this area here. So we've got all kinds of different options in here that will allow you to change colors in different different areas. So up here at the top, our standard uh, background color is white. So uh, you can come up here and you can just click in there in this box. That'll bring up a dialog box here with the different colors. So let's pick something in the purplish range here, and then just clicking out here will save that. Now, if you have the hex number for that, you can always come in and type it in if you've if you've got a specific color that you want to use. So let's change a couple of other things. Let's scroll down here. Let's change the menu link color. Change that to something silly, something green like that. And then also the general link. We'll go. Let's go crazy bright blue on that. Somewhere like that. So okay. Once you've got all that done, you can slide down here, click on Save Customizations. Basically, what that'll do, that'll create a file here called store.css, and uh, that's the file that our system looks to, to to find any changes on your storefront. So let's go to my storefront that we changed here. Here's uh, what we generally look like, just uh, by default, and let's refresh that and see what changes I made. Oh, there's that ugly pinky purple looking, and uh, we changed the color of this up here, and we also changed these links here to blue. So. It's kind of hard on the eyes, so let's jump off of that page there. <laughs> so um, if you've got other things that aren't in our list that you would like to have done, uh, we can do some uh, customizing for you. And to do that, uh, in your over here on the left in your tabs, just come to the Store tab and click on CSS Customizations. And then we've got a list here of the free ones that we offer. Uh, and those are all listed in the in the dialog that I showed you earlier. And then we've got a list of advanced customizations here. Some people people may want to move their fonts around, change the uh, size of those a little bit, change the headers a little bit. Uh, you can kind of see what's done there. And to do that, to purchase those, we've got a couple of options here. We've got a forty dollar option that'll get you a couple of different customizations. If you want quite a few, you can uh, spend a couple of hours of our customization time for about ninety dollars. So you just select the one you want and then come down here and type in the details of what you want and then purchase there. It'll ask for your uh, payment information and then that sends an email to us and then we'll go to work on that. So basically that is our uh, CSS customization and uh, uh, yeah, shoot us an email if you have any questions on any of that. And again, have a great day.